So we will s Hello my fellow Latter Day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia here, back once again. Saturday means Tom and Jerry sins, ladies and gentlemen, and we are on Flirty Birdie. Oh boy, this is gonna end well. Usual rules apply! Here we go! Wrong theme, ladies and gentlemen. MPAA certificate. That's another one that was before the um, mouse in Manhattan. Two things wrong there. One, he is picking bits of cheese off and it still remains the same shape. And number two, mice do not like cheese! Twenty pieces of cheese, twenty sins. How did Jerry not pick up on that? Tom, aren't you forgetting the pepper? Yeah, that ain't working. How did he not feel the sandwich being snatched from his paws at the claws of a bird? And they say too much salt is bad for your heart. Uh, are they not forgetting something? Are they forgetting the pepper? Yes. Yes, they are. Ouch! That should result in broken teeth and the famous trip to the vet. And from the famous trip to the vet to the infamous unrealistic physics. Bread should not stretch that long. Also, Jerry's expression... No? No? And suddenly, Jerry became Stretch Armstrong. And that's a definite no. Two smacks to Tom with the beak, as if it is a hammer. And then he just tosses into the ground at supersonic speed. Tom should be dead. Also, wouldn't be able to make that big an implant unless he weighs a ton. How did the brick become a boomerang? Since when did the bird become Stretch Armstrong? Ah, racial insensitivity. Let's double the sin count. Smug look on his face to signal the start of a plan cliche. Number one. There is no mustard on his underarm. Number two, there is no mustard on his foot. Now, how did Jerry find the time to be able to rub all the mustard off his back to put it on both sides of the bread? Mind you, a mustard sandwich wouldn't be too bad at this point. Shaking the bread when there is only mustard on it. He is acting dumbfounded. So clearly, by logical explanation, which Tom and Jerry seem to lack at this point, he should be able to decipher clearly the fact that it's only mustard on the bread and that Jerry isn't in the sandwich! <coughs> oh, that's that plan of sneaking away up in smoke already. Going down, ladies and gentlemen. Going down. Number one. Where is the mustard? Number two, Jerry shouldn't be that strong. And number three, keeping his beak open like a hatch. No, no, and absolutely no. That plan backfired. Now, how did Jerry get through the nasal passage? Ouch! Now, 
Yeah, your eyes wouldn't be popping out of your sockets like that. Also... <sighs> nah, it's, it's not heart eyes. Happy go lucky face at a love interest cliche. Could you make it any more sexualized? Uh, no, we should only have one of those. No, Jerry, why? Oh, come on, Jerry, you just doubled the sin count for that. Oh, this is gonna be fun for the rest of the episode. Where did Jerry find that pin? To be able to find out that that is not the fake bird you are kissing on the first go. And the unrealistic sound design makes its appearance once again because his beak is not a drill. Now that's a big no-no. When did the inside of his throat become a bell? Could you not tell by the fact he was holding a brick that he was clearly going to hit you? But how's about that? For once, we do not have a fake gunshot! Mind you, now that I've said that, I've probably jinxed it and we're going to have it at some point during this episode. But for now, we get to take a sin off because finally, a point of impact that is not a fake gunshot! Hallelujah, salvation! Oh, testify, my brothers! Hallelujah! Shouldn't he be... Shouldn't he be going... Clunk! Shouldn't he be flat on his face at this point? Yeah, no. You would have to have it pointing the other way before it goes into his mouth. Without turning. And that's not the last time you're gonna be hearing that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, nope. How is he able to teleport? Wouldn't he be detached from that peg at this point? See, now that's realistic sound design. Oh, come on, he passed that off as if it was nothing. Since when did you become a wrestler, Tom? Okay, now this is just in the ridiculous area. The bird is KO'd after Tom does that uh, over-the-top move. Yet, when Jerry does the same thing, Tom passes us off as if it's nothing. Are you serious, guys? Come on! Why do they not do that more often? He's actually checked what weapon Jerry has! Also, how did he source the weapon, coming to think of it? He would not wait that long to find out it's the wrong target. Oh, you blithering idiot! And he passes it off as if it's nothing! Oh, you- Like I said, not the last time you would hear it. Bird, what is so difficult about opening your eyes? No, Jerry. You've just doubled the sin count again. Congratulations! Oh, you gullible bird! Plungers never work like that. And yet, the bird feels satisfied. That came out wrong. What is with the teleportation?! Lucky guess. Oh, congratulations on the engagement. Wait, why am I saying this? Oh, shiny. Would you be any more gullible? Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's karma.
Karma for you, Tom! Number one, Tom should be feeling that. Number two, here we go again! Maybe something I should have pointed out. The bird sounds like a cow! I am not even going to gratify that with a comment. How did Tom manage to lay those eggs? Oh dear. You should have thought about this before you carried out the plan. Well, 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 well. It's one down. Another three to go. Because I'm recording four episodes today. Two for this week, two for next week since I'm going to be in Dublin. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, hope you enjoyed what you saw today. And I'm sure a lot of you do as always. Hit the thumbs up if you did. And if you want to be baptized in following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Podcast on the left, playlist on the right, blooper real time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out, stay faithful as always. Oops. Stupid bird. Clearly shaking the bread is not going to help you... Hang on. Two smacks with a beak. As if they are hammers. Nope. Uh, they say too much sore is bad.